Morning. It was awful. I was teaching. Shh, babe, now's not a good time. Where do you keep your condoms? But I think we're looking for different things. So, live long and prosper. Whatever. <laughs> What about brunch? Is brunch cool? No, Ted. Brunch is not cool. <laughs> give me five. It's give me five back? Oh, yeah. I put in my blog this morning. Guys, give me five back. What am I? Oh, good. Hurricane Dookie in her drawers. <laughs> Poopy pants. <laughs> hey, Brad. Sorry I went a little too far last night. Ah, look, we've been over this. Unless I say flugelhorn, you haven't gone too far. Uh. Okay, I changed my mind. I want an epidural. You guys are crazy. This place is enormous. I mean, look around. Have you never heard of overhead lighting? What kind of professor was I going to be? I had to decide. Please save all your questions until the end of the lecture. Thank you. Hey, what's up? It's here, Lily. It's looking at me. The kid, what do I do? Just... Anyway. Marshall's wearing a nightgown. Marshall's wearing a nightgown. Hey, guys, you know how in the future we're always saying, remember when Marshall wore a nightgown? This is that time! So, flying to Neverland with Peter and Tink, was that amazing? Ooh, let me go next. Was it nice to finally get out of that crowded bed and take Charlie to the chocolate factory? Ooh, me, 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 me! Something about Scrooge! Come on, guys, I'm carrying the team. Stupid little private joke again. Are you guys really still doing this seven years later? It's so annoying. Just stop it. Private, private joke, joke again. Are you guys really still doing, doing this seven years later? It's so annoying. Just stop it. If you don't, do you come to school tomorrow and, and tell them your story of choosing the path of nonviolence? It might really set them straight and save me having to get up early to make a lesson plan. <laughs> All right. OK, I'll set them straight. You're the worst. So let's go home, take some aspirin, drink lots of water, and then see if it's still a good idea tomorrow. It's still a good idea! It's totally still a good idea! Look, Robin, we appreciate that you want us to stay in the city, but this is what we want. I mean, you understand, right? No. What are you doing? You're supposed to pour the milk first. What? No, you pour the cereal first so you know how much milk you need. It tastes better milk first. It all tastes the same once it's in the bowl. Why are you wearing my dad's pants? Milk first it is. We get a nanny. Dibs on the nanny. No, no banging the nanny. Ted, please do not dig in on this whole no banging the nanny policy. Okay, fine, we'll get two nannies. One for banging, one for child care. Slash banging. Dibs on both nannies. This just in is what I'm gonna say when I'm stabbing you. Hey, Lily, can you toss me a beer? Sure, honey. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Marshall actually liked GMB. <laughs> We're going to Atlantic City to elope right now. Oh, congratulations, Lily. Marshall, you're getting married? What the hell? Robin, do you think you can score a hotter guy than Ted? Correct. The answer was awkward silence. It starts with an L. How can you not remember my name? It rhymes with your name. And I said my name was... <laughs> oh, that's cool. No biggie. Another time. Not as awesome as I thought it would be. My butt itches. Cold. I noticed. Yeah, like you're one to talk, pointy. What gym do you go to? Fourth period. Sounds like you're having your fourth period. Am I right, Dad? Got him again. Jerry. Oh, okay. All I know is that I'm a ticking time bomb, and if I don't do something for me right away, I swear I'm gonna explode. 
Wow, that's an evocative metaphor to use for your non-threatening, totally patriotic emotions. U S A. Okay. All right, let's talk bachelor party. Are we thinking full-on strip club, or should we rent a room and have a private toy show? <laughs> what did you just say? Marshall, can I ask one final favor, my friend? Yes, of course, of course, anything. Eat this meatball sub. Where, where did you get a meatball? I don't have much time. Okay, yes, yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> Does this have some sort of special meaning? You screaming, I'm the best, doesn't do much for me. Well, it's a lot better than yelling, Ted's not here, over and over again. Well, at least what I said is true. Hello! Enjoying the ride. Ted, Ted, you let us out of here. You let us out of here this instant. This isn't Ted. But I hear that guy's awesome. Truth is, I used to come here all the time, play an old Chinese game called Xing, Hai Sebu Xing. I had a small gambling problem. Actually, it wasn't so small. I kind of lost my entire life savings. But tonight, I don't know. I'm feeling hot. Hi, Barney Stinson. And I'm Marshall, Barney's wingman. <laughs> Thank you for your time. The truth is, I used to come here all the time, play an old Chinese game called Xing, Hai Sebu Xing. I had a small gambling problem. Actually, it wasn't so small. I kind of lost my entire life savings. But tonight, I don't know. I'm feeling hot. Oh, Robin, that's a really cute outfit. Oh, really? Thanks. Yeah, it has to go. I'm the bride. You can't look better than me. Done. Okay, I'm here. Right? Oh, we'll after, after all they've been through, the fact that this crazy road has led them all the way here to Atlantic City. Set right up here. Are you just staring at my shirt boobs? <laughs> what? Here? Yeah. Got a little time to kill. Oh my god. It's the t-shirt, isn't it? No. A little? All right, let's do it. No. Right. Um, also? Yes, I'll leave it on. Sweet. You just checked out Robin's ass. What? No, I do no, Barney, I was... Dude, that's awesome. You're finally forgetting about that short redhead. Lily. Yes, Lily. Thank you. That was going to drive me crazy all night. Happy. Trust me, I've known Lily for nine years. Uh, trust me, I'm a girl. Yeah, but you're Canadian. <laughs> for you, sir. Gravy. You want that gravy on something? Surprise me. I'd take you with gravy if my boyfriend wasn't sitting right here. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm good. So, maybe I should call him. Maybe. No! This is... Oh. <laughs> this guy likes pennies. <laughs> Lily? You gave me chlamydia, you jerk! Uh <laughs> You gave my twin sister chlamydia, you slime! Okay, you know how you've dreamt about your perfect wedding day ever since you were a little girl? Yeah. Totally. No, Stella. We should help her out. Let's pay for dinner. Nora, don't worry. We got this. That's right. We'll take over your wedding, pay you back for everything you spent. Ted and I will get married this Sunday. Oh, I can't wait to see that movie. Is it good? Awesome. Wait, totally hypothetically, do you like movies with a shocking twist where all the main characters die at the end? Yes. You will love this movie. Class, show of hands, who thinks it's creepy to date your therapist? Polstered. Get out! Nora. Bonnie. Nora. Just say what you say. I know you're old. Ooh. Remember that amazing idea I had that one time? Let's go to a strip club. No. Barney. What, what? I'm allowed to miss them, okay? They're my two best friends. I'm your two best friends. <laughs> Yay! I'm winning all your chippies. <laughs> I'm thirsty. It's good. It's good.
Anyway, now he has his girlfriend in Germany, and he thinks she's calling to dump him tonight. But I don't think she is. And besides, we want completely different things. We should have sex. Oh, well, I'm better friends with Ted than you are. That is a lie. It is not a lie. OK, that's it. You and oh, you. I'm not afraid of you. Come on. I'll show you that you've never seen it before. You're a man fight in the army. You're a Come on, Ted. Let's get you a hooker. It'll be fun. <laughs> OK, to bring to the banquet and hang out with ironically or to actually have sex with? Yes. The point is, how long has it been? 57 days. Was that your water, man? Yeah, go ahead. Much obliged. <laughs> 57 days? What's that thing? That's a TV, Karen. Oh. I don't watch TV. Totally. <laughs> no, no, Ted, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It would be the fourth worst thing. Number one, super volcano. Number two, an asteroid hits the Earth. Number three, all footage of evil Knievel is lost. Number four, Ted calls Karen. Number five, Lily gets eaten by a shark. I'm Lily, and I approve the order of that list. Just one little thing. Would it be OK if, instead of using your coffee mugs, we use mine? Hmm. No. Lily, here's the thing. It's my apartment, and I need to assert my dominance as a man. Don't ever say that to any girl ever. You know what? I don't have to sit here and take this from you ladies. I'm going to Ted's, the man cave, where guys can be guys. Assert it's like your dominance you no as respect a man? For what is women? wrong You have a mother! Baby, there you are. I have spent all day thinking about all the naughty, naughty things you and I are going to do to cheer up Marshall. <laughs> like what? Oh, oh. oh. you're back from being a coupage. What's the coupage? Oh, uh, yeah, I took that cap there that one time. Hold on. Come on in. So I sent her an email inviting her to mini golf. Mini golf? Who takes a first date to mini golf? I'm coming over. Baby boot camp? That sounds great. Yeah, it's a two-day event. We're going. And there's lots of seminars and classes. You've already made the sale. Anyway, I signed this up. Not even listening anymore. Mentally packing and trying to figure out the best way to get to Paramus without hitting any tolls. This is going to be great. My ex-fiance, Wayne, he had no manners. Wayne had no manners. Wayne manners. Wayne manner. Home of Bruce Wayne, better known as Batman, mentor to Dick Grayson, his orphan ward, who at night would don the colorful vestments of the boy wonder, a.k.a. Robin. Holy... Excuse me, miss. Um, when you get a chance, could you bring over a hundred shots of tequila, please? I'll have the same. At least the train will have a 21st century toilet. You're a 21st century toilet! She couldn't look at us. Her face got flushed. That's shame, my friend. Our friend Robin used to do porn, wait for it, ography. You'll think the time I found your internet search history was a freaking picnic. Are we clear? Lily, there are many different. Are we clear? Damn. You know what's ironic is that now. <laughs> hey, I'm Ted. We, uh, we met once before. Right, in yoga class. How are you? She's talking to me. Just a bunch of drunk, sloppy idiots fresh off a, a night of partying in the city, just desperate to hook up with anything that moves. Mm. All right. See ya. New plan, Ted. So this father-son thing, you know, a backwards baseball cap really youngs me down. All aboard! As your next commissioner... State Supreme Court judge. Of Gotham City. The state of New York. I'm out to make Batman work harder. I say shine that bat signal even for small stuff, like uh, shoveling snow. It was just too much. Indiana Jones wouldn't look at this body. This is a body that would melt a Nazi's face. Oh, man. I want my face to melt. The first batch exploded, which sounded kind of like this. Boom! Just let me finish. But the second batch, sadly, also exploded. Boom! 
Why are you here right now? You want to hear the story or not? Absolutely not. Please leave. After well, hey, I mean, maybe after this, if you're not doing anything. Oh, totally. And maybe later we could get a bite to eat. There's this great place that's super close. No, I, I, no. <laughs> Toss me that bottle. Yeah, we haven't done this forever. Dude, you're a grown man. Why are you throwing a tantrum? Honey, this magazine says more and more couples are opting to have non-traditional weddings out in the woods. Well, if a magazine says so, we should go get married in the woods like a couple of squirrels. Squirrels don't get married, Marshall. Like you could possibly know that. That's two vodka cranberries, please. Oh, I remembered I drink vodka cranberries. Remember? When it comes to you, how can I forget? They all drink vodka crammers. And who gets trapped under a fake boulder at the mall? Not me in Ohio when I was nine, that's for sure. It's Libby. Libby, we met when Robin hired me. Robin hired you, naughty girl. Okay, okay. So, how's this gonna go down? You two are just gonna start and I'll just jump in? Uh, she's our wedding planner. Of course she's the wedding planner! Good to see you again, Libby. Libby. Yeah. I made a pact with God to stay a virgin till I'm married. Oh. I don't have an eating disorder. It's just when I put food in my mouth, I chew it, and then I spit it out. Oh. I just turned 30. Oh. I had a girl last night. Really? So perky and full of life and not at all fake. You're talking about her boobs, right? See, si. And that wasn't Spanish, that was cup size. What up? <laughs> so these boobs, hmm. paint me a word picture. All right, Ted. Imagine the heads of two Irish babies. Mm. Let's call them <laughs> and <laughs> Rule number one. Don't use the husband's condoms, that's just rude. <laughs> and the most important rule of all. Lubricant is public property. <laughs> if Liddy came back to the table and you said, uh, Liddy, why don't you uh, take off that coat? You want me to take my coat off? How about instead I take off your face? Ghost protocol wasn't that good for us! Well, hey, I mean, maybe after this, if you're not doing anything. Oh, totally. And maybe later we could get a bite to eat. There's this great place that's super close. No, I. I no. Did it end on bad terms? Hi, Cindy. Oh, hi, Cindy. I can't believe my baby sister is planning to lose her virginity to a douche with a faux hawk. This can't happen. You guys have to help me talk her out of it. Speech to talk a girl out of having sex. Yeah, I don't have any of those. Discouraging premarital sex is against my religion. Ladies and gentlemen, I had dibs. No! <laughs> Tell me this isn't oh. true. You are such a hypocrite. You were only 16 when you lost yours. Well, how do you know that? You left your diary in your old room slash my new room. I'll pay you $10,000 for that diary. Girls like to come across all classy and smart, you know? Is this what you're doing right now? I'm getting a direction. I have a table for one. One couple? No, just me. Really? For brunch? You're right, who am I kidding? Now, you could try to apply for a sex visa, but that only lasts 12 hours. 14 if you qualify for multiple entry. Huh. Mm. Oh, I love you, Marshall. I'm so glad we're waiting. Uh, oops. That was amazing. Yeah. Want to do it again? Please don't. Robin, girls are like cartons of milk. Each one has a hotness expiration date, and you've hit yours. I'm not saying the occasional guy won't still open the fridge, pick you up, give a sniff, shrug, and take a sip anyway, but it's all downhill from here. Because brunch is kind of... girly. Girly? Breakfast isn't girly, lunch isn't girly. What makes brunch girly? I don't know. There's nothing girly about a horse. There's nothing girly about a horn. So put them together and you get a unicorn. Did you tell anyone at the office? Um. Shannon, start the music. Please, I'm her older sister. I'm supposed to teach her how to make good and responsible decisions. 
It's two o'clock and you've already had three scotch and sodas. Oh, that's why I need your help. Sad day in New York, Ted. A sad day indeed. Do you know what I saw on my way in here? A girl in a sweater. It was a tough summer, but I think our girl's been a real trooper. She's... Is this a Cheeto? No, we ran out of Cheetos last week. Oh, yeah, it's a Cheeto. Dibs. We're Marshall and Lily. When people see us, they say, oh, look at them. They've only had sex with each other. No, Marshall, they say, oh, look at them. They've only had sex with each other. And a hug is just like a public dry hump. I think you're hugging wrong. There's something I've been meaning to give you. Gun. She's got a gun! <laughs> it, it, it's a tie. Oh, oh. Ted, how could you? Ted. Exactly. You need connections. If only Ted knew someone who worked at, say, Goliath National Bank, then... Wait. What? I work at Goliath National Bank. How about that? Oh, Mr. Erickson, you're not wearing any pants. Your move. Evening, everybody. Meet Robin. Robin! Go back to drinking. Drinking! Look at this meatball. He's headed right towards me, showing me no respect. Well, if he wants to play chicken, this rooster ain't backing down. You think there's going to be more layoffs? I know. I'm, I'm freaking out. Are you worried? Are you kidding? The things I know about this company, I won't ever be fired. I mean, there's a pretty good chance one day I'll wash up on shore with no fingerprints or teeth, but I won't be fired. Oh, hell no. I think you're going to enjoy this. Not my girl, Michelle. Bitch, you know it. Oh, she living. She living the only way she know how to. Lord. Oh, girl, you got to get your drink on up in there. I'm hoping my bad ass can hustle me up a vodka Gatorade. For real. I mentored a young fellow once. Then, one day, he hired an assistant mm. to work 10 feet from his bedroom, who, get this, isn't a hot chick. And do you know that young man's name? Ted Mosby? Mm. Maybe. I don't remember. Because he is dead to me! <laughs> you don't trust me, do you? No. Then I don't trust her either. Fine. Great. I guess I'll just take my chair and go. Wait, stop, come back. But Marshall, what, what about the environment? Screw the environment. Oh my God. Lily, Lily, before you say or do anything, I beg you one favor. What? Get off that, it's Prada. <laughs> Go in this morning and burr, it's freezing. So I walk over there and I don't know why I'm still talking because clearly we're all asking the same question. What in God's creation is going on with Robin's breasts? <gasps> I... I'd even consider not trying to sleep with her if that's what it takes. <laughs> Guys, I've decided to seduce Michelle. Sup, Punchy? Sup, Schmosby? You want to go? I'm already there! Come on! This is it. Come on! Dude, seriously. Sorry about your dad. Yeah, it was a real shock. Oh, right, I forgot. You guys are weird. You pronounce the word out, out. You guys are the world's leader in handgun violence, your healthcare system is bankrupt, and your country is deeply divided on almost every important issue. Your cops are called Mounties. Wow, he must be really good looking. Why would you say that? Well, because only good looking people can get away with saying things like that. I have found that to be true. It's a blessing and a curse, really. I was younger than you and I had Marcus. Beautiful 15 pound boy. Not much bigger than this turkey right here. Barney, <laughs> none of us really liked her. What? Sorry. Oh, very nice, Lily. You know, she is a guest in this country. So while you may choose to turn your back on her, I choose to turn my front on her. Oh. What up? <laughs> I promise, Marshall, he was the only guy I would ever see naked. Aww. I'll give you $5,000. We're going to Loch Ness? Yeah! Oh, but only if you have decaf. I don't want to be up all night. Dollar fifty. 
coffee. You son of a bitch. <laughs> that was not <the> decaf! <laughs> He was wise and strong. I don't think your sword will fit. <laughs> I get that a lot. We are already behind schedule. Kid, come on, we have an hour and a half before midnight. I don't want to be kissing Ron Cheese. You don't know what you're missing. I'm gonna torture Lily right back. Yeah, there's a part of my body that she's got a weakness for too. Dude, you can't whip that out at brunch. I was always working, even when I wasn't at work. Oh. Robin, I just had a great idea. Oh, do whatever you want to me, just don't wake me up. What does it say? I'm afraid to look. It's negative! <laughs> Thank God! Oh, oh. Oh. And hey! <laughs> cool, blimey. This is a nice bloody surprise. What's this about then? Really? It's about the weird, fake English accent. Bollocks. Whatever he's paying you, I'll pay you double. I doubt it. Whatever he's paying you, I'll give you that plus 10 bucks. I doubt it. All right, you know what, Carl? You just lost yourself a regular customer. I doubt it. I am such a jerk. Yeah. Wait, why? Somehow we have managed to find the two lamest New Yorkers of all time. Ted, Ted, Ted. Dude, I am looking at you, what? Right. Hold still. <laughs> Hold still. <laughs> Hold still. Hey, bastard! <laughs> hey, Ted. What you doing? A rain dance. Dude, that's not a rain dance. That's a fat kid with a bee in his pants. Man, you know something? Stuart's my new hero. If that dude can bag a nine, I gotta be able to bag, like, a 16. What's a 16? <laughs> Those two eights right over there. Yeah. The naked man works. This is gonna revolutionize the one night stand. This is like the forward pass in football, the slam dunk in basketball, the haircutting technique where they hold it between their fingers and cut right above it. It's a total game changer. Santa. Yeah, but that's a good lie. Like when we tell Ted he'll meet the right girl and settle down. I always find that reassuring. You will meet her, buddy. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're rude, and I wish you worked half as hard as the elastic on those stretched out underpants. I'm starting to feel like this is getting a little personal. Hey, kid, you know how your mom won't let you have ice cream till after dinner? But then the waiting kind of makes it taste better? Well, I've been waiting two months for that bowl of ice cream. And tonight, I'm gonna have sex with it. Curiosity. As in, I've always wondered what it's like to have sex with a really tall girl. Not a big girl, just a tall girl. You're quitting, doll face. I know I don't normally call you doll face, but it kind of works in this voice. Doll face. Look at this. Berry Blaster Brain Revitalizer. My God, some of these drinks could actually make a girl smarter. What sort of hell has Ted brought us to? <laughs> Boom! Alpha Dog is right where he belongs, on top. Then after a few minutes, on the bottom. Why should I do all the work? Ted, you're the most romantic guy I know. You you stole a blue French horn from me. You, you, you tried to make it rain. I did make it It rain. was a coincidence. I will stop wearing... Wait for it. You know you're going to say suits. Suits. <gasps> Oh, no. Flopper nutter peed all over my pants. Oh, thank you for your interest in Barney Stinson. Your back is gonna look like a Jackson Pollock. <laughs> I regret to inform you that at this time... I was a vegan for two years. I need meat. <laughs> there are currently no positions available. I'm a yoga instructor. Every position is available. <laughs> I only smoke in certain situations. Post-coital, coital, birthdays, to annoy my mom, Precoital, on a sailboat, the day the Mets are mathematically eliminated every year, and, of course, wait for it, because Lord knows I have, pregnancy scares. Tell me about him. 
He was Italian, classy, elegant, and boy, did he have a way with the ladies. They just couldn't say no. How old was he? Seven. Whoa. Whoa. Hey! Bravo, shit. Hi, young. No way. That did not just happen. Am I dead? Am I dead? Ted, do you think I have no morals whatsoever? I simply want to fool a girl into thinking this is my apartment so I can nail her once and never have to see her again. I'm not a monster. I warn you, Captain, I've pretended to have a duel with actual swords twice. <laughs> I warn you, Marshal, I was on the Olympic fencing team. Won three gold medals. I warn you, Captain, I'm starting to feel like this was a mistake. What is the one thing Lily always does? Cry? Masturbate? Karate? Go sailing? Go for it, Barney. Uh, hey, where are you guys? We're at a fundraiser, helping young women raise money for community college. Strip club, nice. I just slept with my best friend's ex-girlfriend. And I just slept with my ex-boyfriend's really good friend. Best friend. Everything looks good. I think you can handle it. Handle what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this morning he dumped her, and now she's dry humping him on a hospital bed. We have an announcement. I know, it's a terrible idea. You can't do it. <laughs> Just look at me. Here's what's on the rocket docket. My wife and I put the cheese out at 7, cranium at 8, 9 p.m. We watch 27 dresses. Everybody's home by 11. Booyah! <laughs> Hello? Hanging up on you once wasn't enough. So, Robin? Yes, Barney? Guess who nailed the chick from Metro News 1 last night? <laughs> hey. Hey, so I'm reading this, and I gotta say this might be a little bit over my head. For one thing, I'm fairly certain that if these contracts aren't executed precisely, we will be at war with Portugal. Yeah, forget that. That's a Tuesday for me. Well, maybe it was a work thing. But no, she has a big fight with me. She goes down to an easy pitch. She gets into the captain's Mercedes. And then three hours later, she doesn't want to go to Italy anymore. I mean, do you think this means that the captain moored his dinghy in Lily's lagoon? Most definitely. That's crazy. You'd never moor a dinghy in a lagoon. I don't know, Tad. In certain tidal conditions, if you were had a protected in Okay, you, know you slept with Robin. Ronji, you slept with Robin? Barney, that is Ted's ex-girlfriend. No. Not Afiq, no man, no no team. Shots of what's going to start, I can't get him out of it. I can't get him out of it. Why would you come in? You heard me shaving. I thought you were shaving your face. Well, clearly I wasn't. Actually, it's because of your wife's credit card debt. Oh, my God. Marshall. There's something I have to tell you, and I want you to hear it from me first. Was that it? <laughs> no offense, Randy, but there's a long list of candidates for this slot. The slot is Vice President of Awesome, and you're, like, Assistant Under Secretary of Only OK. 